how my husband suddenly treated me like a queen because I stopped doing one thing. If you are in a relationship with a man, maybe you have experienced, like me, that after a while you don't get any more the same love and affection than you used to get in the beginning. And as a woman, this is hard breaking because for us to be really loved, cherished, adored is so important for our deep well-being and happiness. Um, but the good news is that I was able to turn this around and now I'm seven years together with my husband. We are one year married and we are happier than ever before. And I think that's possible for you as well. And I want to share today with you my secret that I have understood about relationships and how to be with men in a way that makes them want to cherish and adore you. My name is Veronica Meyer. I'm a dating and relationship coach. And it is my purpose here on earth to help people have great, wonderful relationships again that fulfill them because it's just so important for our well-being. So um, I need to give you first a little bit of a backstory so you understand where we were about three, four years ago when our relationship was almost at the breaking point because I didn't feel loved, um, but my husband also didn't feel very really good in the relationship. So to understand how I grew up, um, I grew up in a household where both my parents were always fighting. So naturally, I did not learn good relationship skills. So that's the first thing. Then also in my family, all the women around me, all my female role models, so to speak, were um, incredibly close hearted. And how that looked on the outside was that they were very um, controlling and also critical towards their husband. So I grew up with women that were constantly telling their husbands off and telling them that they did things wrong, um, insisting in the household that things should be done their way. Um, and in return, the, husband were, the husbands were neglecting them, not showing up, being super grumpy, being disrespectful towards the women, right? This was my role model. And unfortunately, I brought the same thing into my relationship. So um, I treated my boyfriend back then, three, four years ago, um, basically like a child. I was commanding him around. Um, I was being super aggressive sometimes, really critical with him. He couldn't do a thing right. Always everything had to be done my way. I always was the one who knew best. And this was driving him away. Like now I know that how he felt in that moment was that I was not taking him seriously, that I thought he's like a stupid man, um, that I didn't respect his leadership, that I thought that he was not good enough. Um, and that he basically, in my eyes, was not a real man. And that was like deeply, deeply painful for him. And so to protect him, he would close me off. He was not share with me. He would not just come to me, you know, and give me a kiss in the middle of the day just because he wouldn't buy me presents. Um, and of course, all of this made me unloved. Luckily, at some point, I had this deep realization that I had these controlling tendencies towards my husband and so I went on a really deep journey and started to change this and the cool thing about this was that I realized that I in me there was actually a woman who was deeply relaxed and who felt so good in um, being more kind compassionate and relaxed towards my husband that that actually felt really good to me because the controlling behavior actually was also from my childhood because also I always felt quite anxious because I always was around my parents fighting so me controlling my outside world was also a way to cope but the thing was now there was no reason to control because my husband was not a threat to me you know like my parents were he did not provide an unsafe environment for me in fact when I started to treat him with the kind of respect that he was craving for our relationship became more and more emotionally safe because he was opening up for me and when I had a difficult time he supported me in such a great way and even more than that he just you know very naturally several times during the day now he comes to me he gives me a big hug he says Veronica you're the most 
perfect woman for me. I love you so much. He asks me about my day. He does chores in the household just naturally. Um, he always wants to spend time with me and his eyes light up when I come into the room. And I want the same for you and I know that this is possible because really I thought my relationship was over, that it was not repairable and that we were not a good match. But actually what was happening was this whole unhealthy dynamic played out that I had learned in my childhood. So I hope that this inspires you to bring the same into your relationship. And if you now want to learn um, what does it practically look like to respect men, I have made another video where I explain exactly that and I give you some very detailed practical tips and I'll link it just below. So thank you so much for watching and if you want to go deeper, just get in touch. The details are all below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.